sometime um, and in the last like four or five years I really started to love it and experiment a little bit more with it um, and just get creative with it and so with that being said welcome to my channel um, this is something that I've wanted to do for a very long time but have been just worried that it wasn't going to be well received or that people wouldn't want to watch it or um, I don't know so basically, I just don't care about what people think anymore, and I'm just very excited. Um, and so for today, wearing my cute little red sweater, I've got a video for you on um, how to do your makeup on Valentine's Day if you're wanting a little bit more of a glam look. Like and subscribe if you do like this video and if you want to follow along with my channel um, in this year as I figure out the ins and outs of YouTube. But um, Anyway, let's just get started. All right, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit more because I wanted um, you guys to be able to see better what's going on in my face and with everything that I'm about to put on it. I'm using MAC Prep and Shine. Um, so I'm just using this to quickly spray all over my face. Um, I do go a little heavy with it. I love how it smells. Um, and this is just gonna bring some life back into our faces. Um, it's been really cold here in Chicago where I live and I um, need that constant like mist in my face. So this is the Tatcha um, Silk Canvas Primer. And um, to be honest, do I think it's worth the price? No. Um, but for $20, I got this pot. You can see I've already dug into it and I don't know how long it'll last. Uh, they say a little goes a long way, but I personally, I don't know, maybe I just use too much. But um, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit, a little amount, probably like that. And I'm really just gonna work it into the tips of my fingers and I'm gonna pour it, or pour, <laughs> we're gonna put it on right here on our noses and up here on our forehead. Get it really into the pores, press it in. Um, it's a little bit better to press, especially right around this area, which is very sensitive skin that we have, so we don't wanna be pulling at that area. So now that that has set in place and um, has given us a more, um, don't mind that, a more um, even canvas to work on, we're gonna go in with um, what's right now my favorite foundation in the whole wide world. So it's the Tarte Double Duty Beauty foundation um, and then it does have a dopa applicator which I think is weird um, people like it some people don't I think I like it personally but I'm also not using this foundation <coughs> excuse me on anybody else um, it's, just, it's just going on my face so I know that as long as my face is clean um, no one else's germs are gonna get on that because I'm not letting anybody else use it and then we're going to just start pouncing this into the skin. So I'm going in with a dampened um, beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques one, and it's the one that's um, angled right there. So and you're going to want to really work this into the skin, um, really making sure that you get into those crevices. And as you can see, it does have a really pretty finish. Um, I tend to go in with a little bit more just to make sure that everything that I cover gets covered and typically it's like right here on um, my nose and then right around this part right, um, around my mouth where my smile lines tend to settle. All right so um, next we're gonna go in with um, a concealer that I recently purchased and I'm actually really really liking. It's the Born This Way concealer. Um, this is just the small travel size and we're just gonna go in with this. The color I'm using is Snow. You may think it's a little too light. Um, I personally like how much brightening and lightening it does underneath my eyes. And then in the shape tape, I was the color light neutral. So that said, let's just apply snow underneath the eye. And so I like to go in that triangle um, motion. I think it covers the area very well. And I think that it um, helps lift that like V shape. 
And then I do take some, put it on my nose, and then whatever's left over, I'll put here and here just to brighten up those areas. I want to do my next step is I always like to set with a powder underneath my eyes um, and oops, I have a cat hair <laughs> um, okay so I like to set my under eye with um, a powder but what I really like and mostly I think I just like its price tag and the way that it works is this air spun one it's the air spun um, loose face powder it's in the color translucent extra coverage um, so I personally like this one because a it's very very um, affordable um, and I think that the color and like the texture of it is just so beautiful so what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna go in and we're gonna bake we're gonna just set this underneath our eye now, um, I think we're good and then I just make sure to like, as I'm wiping it away, bring it over again on top of my eyelids to kind of seal that concealer. Whew. Um, okay, so next we're gonna wanna set the rest of our face and for that, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop No Filter Press Powder. Um, so I'm in the color medium, um, you can see I have used it and abused it so we're just gonna swivel that in and then pack it onto the skin so what we want to do now is bring some life back into the face and there's a variety of ways to do that um, the first thing that I do personally to bring life back into my face is bronzer so I'm gonna go in with the physicians formula uh, by Casey Holmes butter collection I'm gonna go in with this bronzer which this one is the deep bronze bronzer of theirs and this is definitely a little too dark for my skin so I use a light hand making sure that um, I blend it out and I don't look too bronzy and too crazy because well I live in Chicago and clearly we're not seeing a ton of sun here I go in these motions just back and forth on my cheeks bringing them up so that my face is more lifted and then I um, do apply some here around my um, hairline <laughs> um, because these are the points where if the sun were to shine um, on you and get you tan, uh, that's where the sun would go on your face. And for blush, I am going to be using this blush trio from Anastasia um, and the colors, it's the pool party blush trio and the colors are blank, pageant, and cash and this is what they look like. Anytime I use this, I just kind of like dip into all three and they're all very different colors but I feel like dipping into all three gives me the best of all the three colors so um, that's usually what I do and then I just kind of apply it on the apples of my cheeks um so with that um now i move on to contour um this might seem like it's kind of all over the place but this is just personally the steps that i do to take that i do take to make my face look the way that it does and um i just like to contour after i blush and bronze um so i'm gonna just powder contour today and i do contour every day i think um my face is a little bit more rounded and um i just like to give myself that snatched look. So I'm going to dip into the Kat Von D shade and light palette. So I'll actually mix this one and this one together and that's what I contour with. So we're just going to go in and I'm going to use this powder brush. Um, it's the Jaclyn Hill collection with Morphe. Um, the it's the JH07. So we're just going to go right in. You can see I kind of suck my cheeks in a little bit so I can see where those cheek contours are naturally and so if you go like this it just shows you where that um, hollowness happens naturally in your face and that is looking good um, another thing I like to personally do is I like to contour my nose and so I just kind of flatten the brush out like that and just go on the sides of my nose um, very lightly contour my nose and then there you go you have a free nose job you don't even have to pay well you have to pay for the contour powder but besides that you really get to snatch your nose out and um, make it look thinner than it actually is so 
Um, and then just to clean that up, I'm gonna take the exact same powder that we used to bake underneath our eyes, and I'm gonna take it on the flat side, and I'm just gonna outline like so. All right, and we're back. Um, so my eyebrows are on, and I just wanted to quickly share with you what I um, use on them. So I use this Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. So it's just um, a lighter shade and a darker shade. You use the lighter shade on the inside, and then the darker shade on the outside, just to kind of give yourself some more dimension in your eyebrows. And I use the color dark brown. I zoomed you guys in a little bit more too, because I'm just gonna quickly dust this away. Um, so because, I am going to get working on the eyes. And so, like I mentioned, this is kind of a Valentine's Day, like a cute pink, um, maybe like purpley eye color um, eye look. Um, and so I was just gonna quickly walk you guys through what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna be using a combination of a few palettes. So we're gonna be using that um, Physicians Formula Casey Holmes palette. I'm also gonna be dipping into the Anastasia Sultry palette as well as the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Um, there is a color in the Sultry palette and I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Let's look. That is my absolute favorite color in the whole wide world. Oh, duh. It's called Rose Quartz and this is really pretty pink um, shimmery shade in that middle. And then we're also gonna be dipping into the hot pink color Bloom um, to kind of give um, some more warmth um, to our faces. And the first thing that I like to do is to take a fluffy brush like this. Again, this one's from the Jaclyn Hill collection. It's the JH30 and it came as part of the eye set. Um, and we're gonna dip into this color right here, Temper Tempera, Tempera. And next, what you want to do is you want to get a fluffy brush. Um, I'm going to dip into the Morphe or Jaclyn Hill collection yet again. Um, and this is the JH32, very similar to the last one. Um, and we're just going to actually dip into this raw sienna color right there. So for your transition shade, you want it to be a very, um, very light color, very transitional color, which is why it's called a transition shade. And so you are just going to want to quickly and evenly distribute that across your crease. And if you guys ever wonder what the secret to good eyeshadow is, um, it's honestly blending and you have to just be very patient. Um, start out with less product because that is easier to build on than starting out with a lot of product because that is harder to take off or blend away. So we're gonna dip into the color Burnt Orange, which is a little bit warmer and a little bit lighter. And that's just gonna go um, in the outer corner and into the center of the lid. So um, we're gonna dip into the color Red Ochre and then a little bit into this next color next to it, which is Venetian Red. Just a tiny, teeny, tiny bit. I'm gonna go again with that same exact fluffy brush that came with it the palette and make sure that I get most of the product off of the brush. And we're just gonna work it into the outer corner. All right, so um, you could stop here. This is great, very simple, very, um, natural um more nat more glam than natural but a little bit more natural than you might want um but i'm not gonna stop here i'm actually just gonna dip quickly into that casey holmes palette that i told you about and there is a beautiful red color in the sh in this palette called um tropic like it's hot and i'm gonna if i can it's this one right here um and so that color i think is beautiful and we're not gonna use the anastasia eyeshadow pencil. We're going to use a smaller fluffy brush. You can see right here, it's a little bit more um, pointy and just very small and detailed. And we're just going to dip into that really quick. And so we're just going to quickly blend it all together with that first 
blending brush we use for the transition shade. And we're gonna go back into the Modern Renaissance palette, back in with that same fluffy brush that came with it. And then lastly, but not least, we're gonna add this pretty, pretty color love letter um, onto our lid. And do you guys remember that I talked about the Sultry palette and I mentioned this really pretty hot pink shade right here called Bloom. Well, we're gonna use that really quick and I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow pencil, eyeshadow, eyeshadow brush. Take that pretty, pretty pink and put it kind of where that purpley pink meets those uh, red colors that we used. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that same hot pink shade and buff it with the same eyeshadow brush into the bottom lash line. We're gonna dip back into that red ochre, Venetian red, and add that to the outer corner. So from about our pupil back that outer corner. Um, last, we're gonna take our ring finger, which is our weakest finger, and the finger that we wanna use to put on skincare underneath our eyes, um, and really anything eye related, use that finger, it's best for the skin. And I'm gonna pop in that rose quartz shade on my lid. All right, so that is done. And we're just gonna take that same fluffy brush from earlier and just make sure that all of the edges are blended. Um, one thing that I saw, that I noticed with the Casey Holmes palette is that the collection is very sparkly and um, the blush and the highlighter are just very chunky, very sparkly, and it's not really my vibe, um, but I have really loved the highlighter for the inner corner. So I like to bring some light into my inner corner and this product y'all gives so much light it packs the biggest punch it is so gorgeous so that is what i really like to use that highlighter for and then before i forget because i think i did forget this is not a step i do near the end um we're just going to quickly put some highlighter on if i can find my highlighter brush all right, so we're just gonna take this brush right here. It's not my highlighter brush usually. I think I just used it with um, like a white eyeshadow in the past. So we're just gonna go for it. And I'm using the Amrezy highlighter. And so I like to apply on the high points of my cheeks. On my nose, I like my nose to look wet. And then on my cute head doll, right here. Um, but I'm gonna get off camera real quick, put some lashes on, and uh, we'll finish up with the lip. All right guys, so I'm back. I have popped some falsies on. I also applied some mascara to my eyelashes on my lower lash line and um, some to my top eyelashes as well, just to kind of blend them together with the falsies. The falsies I'm using are the Allure Definition um, number 128. Uh, they came in this box they were on sale so that's why i got them um they're really pretty they're very like i don't know if you can see like flirty i think that's the word i'm gonna use um and then for my lower lash line i just use the Too Faced better than sex mascara but i think we're just gonna keep it red today and we're gonna go in and um use the Based cinnamon bear melted matte. This was part of a holiday collection that they came out with this year. I don't know if it comes on its own, but if not, any red lip will do. I don't typically line. Um, I think that that's just a personal preference of mine. I don't really care to line them just because currently, right now, I'm not going to be going anywhere. If you are going to go on a date on uh, Valentine's Day, if you want this to last a little bit longer, then definitely line them. Um, but I'm just not going to. Uh, 
Um, and I will say that something I like to do personally is not overline because I'm not lining, but um, kind of go over my natural lip line a little bit just to make my lips look a little bit bigger than they are. I always have the hardest time with um, this side of my lip because I had a lip ring in high school. I know, uh, wild. Um, but I personally thought that it would just fill itself and it didn't, so there's still a little bit of a scar. There's still a little bit of a scar there. <laughs> Guys, I think this is the final look and um, Oh, one more thing. If you want your makeup to last, you have to set it. So with that same thing that I put on, the MAC Fix Plus, we're just gonna put that really quick all over our faces. And that's the final look. I hope that you enjoyed um, getting to know me a little bit and seeing me do my makeup. And um, yeah, like and subscribe. And if you want to see any other looks or anything else in specific, I can do hair tutorials. I can do what I eat in days. Um, but just let me know whatever you guys like. And this is my first Valentine's Day look for this year. Bye.